Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back once again to Creations by Simone. And guess what day it is, guys? It is Monday. That's right. And every Monday here on the channel, we do Monday makeovers. Now, I've skipped a few Mondays. You know how life goes, but I'm always back here on Monday, same bad time, same bad channel, to share with you another Monday makeover. All right, my lovelies, I found this cute DIY on IG, which is Instagram. And I know all you guys go to Instagram, you see these things pop up. But when I've seen this pop up, I said, you know what, Simone, you have to do this so went out and bought all this stuff and today we're going to go ahead and tackle it all right my lovely some of these bowls i got from the dollar tree as you can see they were a dollar 25 they are the clear glass bowls the cute little glasses here martini glasses should i say i got from goodwill they were 50 cents a piece you can't beat it guys now the knobs that i got these beautiful crystal knobs i got from big lots the price is 9.99 but when i got to the register they were only 6.49 so that made it all the more better four knobs for $6.49. Now guys, you can even use these if you're just going to redo your bedroom set and you want to add some new knobs, you can go ahead and get those as well. Now this is really simple guys. We're just going to zoom on through. We're going to take our E6000 glue guys. Now I use that because you want a permanent stick to it. If you don't want a permanent stick, then you don't have to use that, but I suggest you do because you don't want anything falling apart on you. Alright my lovey, so I have my martini glass. Now this one is like an extra long one with an extra long stem here. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead we're going to glue that on top and we're going to use our second bowl as a cover so once that's all glued down guys then we'll just use this as a cover but remember we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the knobs on top of it so that way we can go ahead and lift it up all right my lovey so what i'm going to do now is we're just going to go ahead we're going to put this e6000 glue now if you just want to add that and let it sit all night that's fine or if you want to just get a quicker start, you can add the E6000, put a little hot glue up there as well. And then that way it'll be a faster stick for you. Um, it won't take so long, I guess you could say. But it's still best to just go ahead and wait, guys. All right, my lovely. So what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and I am adding my glue here. As you can see, don't put too much. I notice when you use a lot of E6000 glue, it just starts spreading all over the place and your stuff slides. So just put a little, guys. That's all you need to just get that set in and have it stick just the way that it should all right my lovelies you don't have to do this but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to turn this over i think it bonds a little better when you have the heavier um, part sitting on top of the stem itself so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and slide that let it dry now this one i actually did yesterday it's already dry and i used a smaller uh, martini glass for this one see how cute that turned out absolutely loving it guys so we're going to go ahead and put that aside now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how we do the lids now all i'm going to do is take this bowl right here guys we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our um beautiful crystal doorknobs here gonna go ahead and open this pack up guys this was such a bargain i told you 9.99 and when i went to the register it was 6.79 i said omg simone you gotta do that you gotta do that now my lovelies what we're gonna do is just go ahead and open this box up real easy here taking my scissors and just cutting this tape away and voila we're going to open the box up and then once we open it up as you can see we have the knobs in there they have them in here pretty tight guys i thought it would be a little easier but we're going to get this i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to unscrew these and i think it comes out just a little bit better okay now that we got that out of the way i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to add my e6000 glue here guys just put a little dab on here on the video um i put a lot and I had to actually go back and remove some of the glue. So I've learned when you add this stuff on this glue, don't put that much. Just a couple of dabs. That'll do it. That way you won't have all that glue protruding um, from underneath your object. And also it won't slip and slide. So that's a lesson that is learned. All right. So now that we have that on, we're going to go ahead. We're going to do our second one. I'm going to learn my lesson with this one. I'm not going to put that much um, glue on there. Just a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and just stick that on the top. Much better it's not sliding and it looks absolutely beautiful if i must say so myself all right guys so we have our two lids there gonna go ahead and let them dry and while they're drying guys i have some candy i don't know if you love this candy this is one of my favorite guys i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna open this up now normally people would use this for christmas 
or you can use it for any type of special occasion as well. I use it because I just wanted you to see the beauty of these candy bowls and what they you know, have to offer for special occasions. Now we're gonna go ahead and add these in. My daughter's sitting on the side saying, hurry up, hurry up, I wanna eat the candy. I told her just hold her horses, <laughs> just hold your horses, you're gonna get to it. Now guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add this candy in. I wanna remind you, you don't have to just use candy. You can use anything. This is an ideal for a baby shower, bridal shower, um, any type of party that you have that you want to display some candy or any type of um, sweet treats. This is a great uh, bowl ideal for that. Elegant, cute, quick, cheap, you name it, it is that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to finish adding all our candy in there. Once we do that, guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our lid back on. All right, my lovelies, all the candy is in. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our top, our lid. Look at that, isn't that cute? Now you can't tell me that that is not cute and so creative. I love it. When I seen it on IG, I had to recreate it and I absolutely love it. Now you can put a lot of stuff in here, not necessarily just candy. If you're having a wedding, um, if you're having a baby shower, um, if you're having any type of de uh, event, a uh, decor event, you can always use this same concept, guys, and add whatever you like. All right, guys, we have the favorite candy of them all, our M&Ms, and I love these M&Ms, so colorful and so cute, guys. This would be a hit at any type of party or event that you may have. Gonna go ahead and add those all in the bowl. I'm actually using two bags of these. I got these at Walmart, guys. I think they were about maybe four something a bag, so look at that. Now, this is gonna last probably to the end of the video. I'm telling you, my daughter's really gonna tackle this. Now I've added my bowl on there and look at this, absolutely beautiful. This is so quick, so easy, so affordable, and most of all, elegant. Now guys, if you wanna even go further with this and add type of uh, decorations on the outside, you might wanna add some um, glitter to your bowl to make it a little fancy. You might wanna put some rhinestones on it. You know, anything just to spice it up a little more. I just wanted it to be plain because um, I think it just looks absolutely beautiful. All right, my lovelies, I hope you love the video and you know what to do if you do. I am so happy that you guys continue to stop by for Makeover Mondays. We're gonna have some great ideas and I couldn't do it without you. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You are the bee's knees and I love you guys. I bet you hadn't heard that one in a while. All right, my lovelies, until we meet again, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.